Welcome back everybody, Silas here, and today we are on a mushroom hunting adventure. Now the normal mushrooms that I go hunting for are morel mushrooms, and those only grow in the early spring. Today I'm out looking for oyster mushrooms. I don't know what the exact term for them is, but they're known as oysters. The only problem is, is it's been really, really, really dry this year. We're under a severe drought in this part of Kansas right now, but we did get a little bit of rain here not too long ago, so I'm hoping, hoping that maybe a few oysters popped up. I don't know if I'll find anything out here or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oysters love to grow on dead or dying trees. So trees like that there are prime habitat where kind of half of the tree is dead. If they get too rotted, they don't grow oysters anymore. This tree here is an ideal specimen. However, there are no mushrooms growing on this one. There is so much random junk back here in the trees. All this old clay sewer pipe. That's some big pipe though, look at that. Size 10 boots pretty big stuff. I don't know what that would even be for. No, there's an old truck wheel down in there too. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to find out here in these trees. Here we go. Is there anything on this one? Got to kind of wiggle through the trees here. This one looks a little bit too rotted. A lot of times they're either growing down low or they're growing up high where you can't reach them. A lot of oysters that I've found through the years have been way up high in trees where I can't get to them. Now normally I find them on cottonwoods, which there are a bunch of cottonwoods out here, kind of scattered around. But there's a bunch of walnuts out here as well, and a few elms. And I have found them on elms before, I've never found them on walnut though. But I have heard that they grow on walnut. Looks like an old car fender or truck fender or something back here. There's another old fender, looks like a rear fender. The main reason I came back here is to check out this tree, but once again I think that one's just a little bit too far gone. For whatever reason, they don't like to grow. I, well, I know the reason. There's no nutrients left in that wood, so there's really nothing for the fungi to feed on. That being said, I think this limb right here is a prime candidate. You can kind of see how it still has the bark on it, so it's not that rotted yet. Well, I'm not having much luck finding any mushrooms, but I did find some more car parts. I found an old gas tank, a brake drum, and it looks like an old Ford truck hood. Still has a hood ornament on it, even probably early 60s or mid 60s wow check that out there's a whole front axle under here you know that hood ornament's probably worth a little bit of money i'm not sure what those go for but they used to go for 20 to 40 bucks and there's a complete rear end and drive shaft over there something else down there and then looks like a can or something there so <laughs> all sorts of old car parts in here Guys, check this out. This is awesome. Looks like the remnants of an old coop. Not much left here, but pretty neat. I didn't even know this was out here. You just never know. I've actually never been back in this part of my property. Hard to tell them what else is back here. Now, that's pretty crazy too. I never realized there was a fence here. Runs along right along there. This isn't the property line though. I own quite a ways that direction yet, so I'm not sure. I'm sure at some point in time, maybe they had a pen for cattle back here or something like that. I don't know. I worked my way back to this little clearing area right here. And my wife and I have actually talked about building a house out here. And if we do, I think this is where we're gonna build it. It's kind of back here in this area. Now, in order to do that, either I've gotta buy some land from the neighbor so I can build a driveway, or I'm gonna to have to clear out the trees all along the edge of the property and build a driveway on my side of the property line. If they would sell me just a little bit of their land, it's pretty clear all the way down right there. Otherwise, I gotta build the driveway through here, and uh, <laughs> there's a lot of trees to take out. It must just still be too dry out here, because 
There's a bunch more cottonwoods right behind me with dead branches in them and nothing at all. This is their old target practice shooting area back here because there's a big hill of sand back behind it. Kind of the remnants of trash left here. I need to get all this cleaned up. Clean it up a little bit. Kind of rebuild this hill a little bit. And I'll probably use it for that again for myself. I don't ever hardly come to this part of the property. This is way back here. I may not be finding any fungi, but there are a lot of cacti. I kind of spaced it off. It's too late now. There's a whole bunch of prickly pear fruit. You can kind of see those little red deals right there. They're all overripe now and rotted. And there's a couple there that might still be good. Oh no, they're a little bit squishy looking. You can't pick them with your bare fingers. You have to use tongs to pick them because they have little spines on them that'll go in your skin. So you gotta pick them with tongs and roast them, burn the spines off of them, and you can eat them. But really, September is the best time to pick those, and we're in November now, so <laughs> I'm really, really late. All this good dead wood and not a single mushroom, not any mushrooms of any kind. So I just think it's just really too dry still. We're supposed to get some more rain here in a couple days, so maybe then, but I don't know, it's getting kind of late in the year now. You know, normally in the spring, I will pick buckets of morel mushrooms. And this year, I think I picked maybe half a five gallon buckets worth all year long, all season long. And the ones I picked were all fairly small ones. I didn't pick any monsters this year. A lot of times I'll find some big ones that are bigger than pop cans, but this year was pretty much nothing. A lot of my best spots are right by water, whether it's ponds or creeks or things like that. And now all the creeks are dry, all the ponds are dry. So I hope and pray we get some rain this winter or some snow, I mean, and rain. Because uh, if we don't, next year is going to be a doozy. Bunch more cactuses. All through here. I can't believe I just completely spaced it off. Oh well, there's always next year. Huh, there's a big old tractor tire buried here. Who knows how it got there or how long it's been there. And then there's a random boat back here too. Somebody must have brought that back here a long time ago and dumped it off. Looks like it's pretty well all there still. Interior is gone, but the rest of it's there. Looks like they kind of have a homemade deer stand on it. Huh. Almost walked right into that spider. That would have been not a fun experience. Well, we got a few more trees back here. Here's a good looking cottonwood. We'll kind of check it out, but I don't see anything from here. And then I've got some elm trees over here and a couple more cottonwoods. I haven't explored the whole property, but my feet are getting tired and I really don't think we're going to find anything. I think it's just too dry. Well, that's nice. My neighbor came back here and took all the trees out along his property line, which is perfectly fine. It's his property. He can do whatever he wants. But over here, there was the remnants of an old camper that had been sitting here forever. And now it's over here on my side. And you can see where he just shoved it over the top of that pine tree and dumped it on my side of the property. So that was very kind of him to dump it in here. I don't know, some people, I thought he was a pretty good guy, but I guess he's not. You know, I'm probably just going to let it go, but uh, if I was kind of petty, what I'd do is I'd drive the skidster back here, grab that, throw it back over the property line, and just tell him, hey, I think that blew across the property line, I was just giving it back to you. <laughs> if I see him, I am going to say something, though. I'll be making some more camping videos in this probably relatively soon, not right away, but relatively soon, once it cools down a little bit more and I can actually run the wood burning stove. There's one more patch of trees up here I want to check up front by the cars. And if I don't find anything there, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits. And check this thing out. This thing is pretty cool. I actually put this here a long time ago. It's been sitting here a long time though. You can see it sunk down in the dirt. You know, I honestly haven't even looked at it in forever. Huh. It's got cobwebs in it, full of leaves. The reason the guy brought this to me is because somebody stole all the copper wire out of it and he just wanted to see it get scrapped. He didn't want to see somebody else fix it. He just wanted it destroyed basically. So he brought it out here and I have a really cool video idea for it. I've just never done it yet, but you know, I kind of just spaced off that it was even back here. You know, if I had a dollar for everything that I forgot that I had, <laughs> I'd have a lot of dollars. I guess that's what happens when you have too much stuff. Well, it looks like we are done. We didn't find any mushrooms. Like I say, it's just this weather, we really, really, really need some rain. As much as I don't like working at the junkyard in the rain, we desperately need it. We did find a really cool Jurassic Park Explorer, and then that old coop body was pretty neat. 
and there was that old bumper and that old door and I forget what else we found but there was a bunch of neat stuff back there in the trees and some of it I didn't even know was there. If we get that rain here in a couple days maybe I'll go out one more time at another location I know that does grow them for sure if we have enough moisture. But beyond that if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to this channel. As always I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you on the next one.